You want to learn how to build this professional slider for your WordPress based website? Stay tuned, I'll show you how. In today's world, online learning has become part of everyday life. Hello there, and welcome. Want to learn WordPress? Or become a better WordPress designer? Or developer? We make learning WordPress easy, no matter the skill level or experience. WordPress is used worldwide on thousands of websites, by businesses large and small. Learn WordPress from the comfort of your home or office with one-on-one -on -one online instruction. You'll learn WordPress in record time and save thousands on website development fees. We know learning to use new software can sometimes be a bit of a challenge. We use the latest screen sharing technology for online learning. We break this process down in easy to understand steps. Here's where you'll learn WordPress theme installation and configuration, plugin installation and configuration, WooCommerce, and much more. Challenge yourself to learn something new. Sign up today, learn more, or get started at learnwordpress.quantumcomputingsolutions.com. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to install and configure this nice professional looking slider for your WordPress site using Elementor. Okay, so the first thing what I need to do is install Elementor. You see I have this slider with just a basic WordPress theme, one of the free themes that come with default by default with WordPress. So and I've also installed a template which the Elementor slider sits on top of. So I'll show you how to do that here. So the first thing we want to do is we want to install our Elementor plugin. So if you're familiar with WordPress, you'll know you need to go out to your plugin um, option here on your admin menu. And as you see, I've already installed Elementor. So what you'll do is you go out to plugins and then add a new plugin because Elementor is a plugin, it's a, a page builder plugin. So what we're going to do is we're just going to search for Elementor. Okay. So I've already installed Elementor on here. So let me get it there. So we'll go ahead and search for Elementor. And you see you know, we've got Elementor website builder here. I've already installed it and activated it and activated it. Now in, in subsequent videos or videos before this video, I'll show you all about Elementor and tell you give you an overview of what Elementor is and you'll become more familiar with how to use Elementor and build out a whole site using Elementor. So let's start with some of the basics first. So we want to go ahead and install our base theme, okay? This is not the Elementor theme, but this is a WordPress based theme that comes free with WordPress. So I'm just gonna use the Ultra theme. You can use whatever theme you want, but I'm gonna be using the Ultra theme. So now that I've got it installed, let's go out to the pages um, and this particular install comes with a page already pre-formatted and I've already installed Elementor there. Now what I like to do, I like to disable Gutenberg. So what you can do is go out and find the disable Gutenberg plugin, which I've already installed, but I'll show you where it is here. So we want to disable Gutenberg. So we'll just do a search for that there. And we'll find the disable Gutenberg plugin because I don't care too much for Gutenberg. So I've already got this installed here and got it activated and configured there. So it's just disable Gutenberg. So now on my pages, I don't get that Gutenberg uh, builder, page builder, because sometimes I can conflict with other plugins and other page builders and whatnot. So what I'll do is go out to my pages and I've got all pages here. I'll click on there and you'll see that my about page has already been configured because I've installed Elementor on there. So what we can do is go ahead and click on that that particular page and you will see that it comes up with the original default um, WordPress editor okay, with Elementor installed because we installed and activated Elementor earlier. So now I want to show you how to install the Prime Slider plugin. So again, we go over to our plugins, we go down to Add New, and we'll get our search screen, our search bar here, and we'll just type in Prime Slider, and you'll see it comes up there, Prime Slider. Okay, and it comes up with the plugin, Prime Slider. 
and I've got it already installed and activated but that's how you find the prime slider that's this slider here okay that's the add-on for for Elementor and it is a plugin that will become available once we um, get into our Elementor page so here I am on the page that I've got Elementor installed it is on the about page and there is my Elementor installed there now in other videos I would showed you how to um, configure Elementor and the different template options that are available for Elementor over in the page attribute section of this page so this and for this particular page we're going to use the full width template option okay so I'll go ahead and choose that and I'll go ahead and click on edit with Elementor now this page will load it will give me a blank screen where I can put all of my Elementor elements because that's what Elementor is defined as you can just drag and drop Elementor elements so as you see I've got my interface here and then I have my um, my tool here where I can add different templates and different um, elements to the template sections so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out to the folder here and I've got all these pre-built pages that come with Elementor I'm just going to choose anything here so I'm just going to choose just for this example I'm going to choose this one here so I'll go ahead and click on insert and it'll go ahead and load that template for me okay so once that's loaded then I can go ahead and load the slider plugin element on top of this template so but the first thing first I want to get rid of this particular section okay because that's not what I want in there so I'll go ahead and get rid of that section now that I've removed that top section okay this is the section I want to add a new section here and that's where I want to place the element or slider um, module or element however you want to call it I want to put this on top of the theme so you see that I have the template all set up here as the default template which looks pretty good and it's got all its different sections there so what I want to do is I want to add a new section right here so I'll click, click on add and then I'll just go in here to the plus sign and I'll add a, a, a section there okay so there's my new section right there and that's where the element or, or the the slider plugin is going to go in there the slider module I should say so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and make some changes to this section here so I want it right now is the content width on the layout is a boxed boxed layout but I want it full width so that way the slider is full width across the screen so now that I made that adjustment there I'll go up here to my edit section here in my Elementor items and I'll scroll all the way down here until I get to my slider plugin here so here is my prime slider plugin so we've got all our different um, slider layouts here and I'm going to use this first one so we'll just go ahead and drag that right over to our Elementor section and we'll just plug it in like that and see and there it is is there um, in place and all these different sections can be edited and the different slides can be edited as well I'll show, the, show you how to do that here in a second so what I want to do is kind of give a preview of how that looks okay so that's how it looks but you see we have this area here off to the side we want to reduce the margin or the padding around our slider so what we'll do is we'll go back over to our slider and go over to the advanced section again of uh, previous videos or subsequent video to this video I'll show you all the different um, options within Elementor so you can make all these CSS changes and all the layout changes and whatnot or I should say padding adjustments and height adjustments and whatnot in, inside of Elementor but for this video I'll just go ahead and show you quickly we want to reduce the padding um, around this section so we'll just go ahead and put zero in there there and we'll put zero on the margin as well and this is for that section okay but we also want to go into the slider itself or the uh, the section here and we want to do um, go into the advanced tab and we want to put zero in the margin 
there and zero for the padding there. So all our, our margins are, are zero and our padding zero. But we also want to do one, one other place here, and this is a column that this, this element sits inside. So we're going to click on the, the column um, access button there, and we'll go over to advanced there. And we'll do the same thing with zero margin and zero padding. As you see now, it, it fits perfectly inside the section add full width. Okay, so that's all you have to do with that. So now that we've got all our column parameters adjusted to where we want, so that now it's all nice and full width like that, we want to go into um, where this text is. So you can change the text and you can change the background images and all different aspects of this slider. So what I want to do is I want to just mouse over to the pencil icon so I can edit this particular section. And then you'll see the layout for the slider. These different options will come available here off to the, to the left. So if I want to like not show the title um, of, this, in the, of this particular slider, I don't want to show the slider uh, title at all in any of the sliders, then I'll just go ahead and toggle this to off. Okay, so now the titles disappear, but if I want to show the title, uh, display the title, I'll just toggle it on like that. See now the prime slider title comes back on. And the same thing works with the subtitle and this button here, this button here. You can toggle that on and off the excerpt. You can toggle on and off the social um, links there, social media links. You can toggle those on and off as well as the the transition dots, the carousel dots, which would, in this case they're not dots, it is particular design. For this, a slider template are these numbers here, which function as sort of a navigation there. Now, each time, one thing I did want to mention is that each time you make a change, you want to make sure you update those changes um, so that everything's updated. Now, continuing our work with the Elementor Prime slider module, I want to show you how to change the text here in any of the sliders. Now you can access the text by going over to your um, Elementor slider layout section here and click on the layout option and it'll, it'll minimize that particular option and you want to click on the sliders option okay and within the sliders option it'll contain all the sliders that you have and you can change the slider text, you can change the subtext, subtitle or you can change the paragraph text here, which I'll show you in a second. So I want to go down here to this section, to the editors within the uh, sliders section here. And there you see there's the paragraph text. So if I want to change the, uh, the paragraph text on this uh, particular slider, I could just remove it there. And as you see, once the slide transitions to that slide, you see that text is no longer there. If I wanted to change it or put it back, or I want to put some uh, other text in there, I could just go ahead and put it back in there. And as you see, that text is now back in there. So now you can go and um, again, you can adjust any of these uh, text elements within each one of the sliders by choosing the slider that you want to modify. So say I want to modify the second slider in the in the sliders, and I'm on the second one here. So I just go ahead and click on that slider. I can change the title. I can change the text links. I can change the button text. I can change the paragraph text as well. All right. So now just to kind of wrap this up, I want to show you how to change the uh, transition, the, the animation uh, timing within the slider itself. So you can go there and you can allow autoplay or you can do the autoplay intervals. You can change the timing on there or you can pause it when it hovers by toggling this toggle switch on and off. And as I said before, make sure that any time you make a change, just go ahead and update so those changes are saved. This concludes this tutorial, a quick overview of the Prime Slider Elementor plugin for Elementor. And as you can see, we have our slider in place and it looks pretty good. Now for complete training, a one-on-one -on -one online training for WordPress, please visit our site at learnwordpress.quantumcomputingsolutions.com. I hope to see you there. In today's world, online learning has become part of everyday life. Hello there, and welcome. Want to learn WordPress? 
or become a better WordPress designer or developer? We make learning WordPress easy, no matter the skill level or experience. WordPress is used worldwide on thousands of websites by businesses large and small. Learn WordPress from the comfort of your home or office with one-on-one -on -one online instruction. You'll learn WordPress in record time and save thousands on website development fees. We know learning to use new software can sometimes be a bit of a challenge. We use the latest screen sharing technology for online learning. We break this process down in easy to understand steps. Here's where you'll learn WordPress theme installation and configuration, plugin installation and configuration, WooCommerce and much more. Challenge yourself to learn something new. Sign up today, learn more, or get started at learnwordpress.quantumcomputingsolutions.com.